My name is Prince Ojatun Ashiolu Ajoba, known as Apple Spinners, and uh, an uncle to a person who was assaulted by uh, military men yesterday, 14th August 2016. Where did this happen? Ebitemeta, that is um, Okobaba Plank Market in Ebitemeta, East Lagos. What was his offense? Oh, uh, he, he, I don't think he has any offense. He was only going on his way to his house when he saw two mufti uh, military men trying to beat up an innocent citizen of the country and intervened to to plead on that person's behalf with the military men but to no avail that went and when he saw that the person was going to be killed in that um in that torture he decided to to um, try to take the victim away from uh, the mufti men which are soldiers at the end of the day to the station to rescue him so on getting to the station the policemen have to follow them down to the scene to see if they could still see any of those uh, soldiers so on getting there when they cited him they were in a bear parlor marin numbering over 12 marin so on citing my um, nephew coming with policemen they just banged on him beat him mercilessly and stabbed him on the right eye with an object yet to be identified so and he was then at the moment rushed by just a sympathizer to the general hospital before i was called so on getting to the scene he has been taken away so i went to the police station to the nearby police station and before my arrival um, the people in the area ran after the soldiers when they were trying to uh, to take cover so at the end of the day the guy that stabbed that's my nephew was apprehended and took to Adekule police station in Yaba. Then the other one, I don't know, was allegedly uh, to be wounded. So at the end of the day, I went there to the station to meet the DPO and I told him we are coming back. So to my dismay this morning when I got there, the guy has been the... Uh, suspect the soldier suspect has been re released to the authorities in the army quoted the that was what the um dpo at the Kule police station told me so as we, as we were uh, discussing on the matter a man came in with a trister who was later identified to be captain okolo he came with an oddly and the suspect that was released to him yesterday evening he wore his complete uniform. The suspect? Today, this morning. The suspect? Yes, the suspect. I saw him. So, so he was there. So he's no longer under arrest? He's no longer under arrest. He was taken to Army Barak in Mayong, Yaba. So when so, you brought him back to the station today, did he bring they, they came today to They came today to collect his document, his phones, and uh, what's it called? The ID card mm -hmm. and other issues. He was on Mufti when he was arrested. So the cloth and everything, they gave it to them today. So by when he was holding it, he was in uniform. So that's what I can say. I beg um, the Nigerian the government to please uh, take this matter up. So to a logical conclusion. He never allowed me to say anything. He, was only, he only told me that a soldier, which those people, those soldiers brought to the scene to cause mayhem on my nephew, one of them had been stabbed. And I said, I don't know. They were about taking cover. So people in the area appreciated them. Some of them were stabbed. I don't know how that is at this moment. How true is it? So he said, that person has to recover first before they can take up my matter so we discussed and he took me to his barrack my own barrack yaba because i told him we have to see to the end of this that justice must prevail you can't just be beating people mercilessly on the road 
which are innocent people. Even they, uh, they offend you or they are guilty of any offense. It has to be through a normal democratic process, which has to be through the uh, police and so. So to cut the story short, at the end of the day, um, my my information was taken by the military men, that is Captain Okolo and his men in the Mayon Barrack. So now the condition of my nephew is bad because he has been referred from the General Hospital in Lagos, precisely, to loot. The loot in Lagos that he should go for, I don't know, for a protection on that eye, that, that, that eye has been totally damaged. In order not to affect the second one, it, it has been transferred so that it will not go into the second eye.